Hi everyone, this is Phil from Seahorse Kentuckys. Today we're going to talk about the uh, LiPo battery charger which you get with your Revo 4 Kentucky drone. They are fancy chargers and they can charge LiPo batteries plus lead acid batteries and other ones as well. With your battery charger you will get a power supply, your battery charger and your lead, your battery lead. So the first thing to do is to plug your battery lead in. Red goes into red, black into black. Otherwise you'll get your polarity the wrong way around. The second thing is to plug your power lead into the plug on the side. And then we'll be all go. With your battery charger powered up, you should have on the screen program select LiPo battery. If you do not have LiPo bat, then we need to select through the menu and find it. To do that we use battery type and we press that button and each time we press it we step through the different battery types and the different items in the base menu. The one we're looking for is this one here, LiPo battery or LiPo bat and we then go to start or enter to select it. The next thing we need to do is select the correct charging type. We do not use LiPo charge because that does not use the balance leads of the battery. So we need to again arrow up or arrow down to select the item we want. We either use LiPo balance which is a balance charge to charge the batteries up to go flying or we go through and we use LiPo storage which is for storing the batteries over a longer period of time, a week or more. And this holds the batteries at a lower voltage and it is better for the batteries. There's also discharge. If you ever need to discharge a LiPo battery, this will discharge the battery down to zero and then you can safely dispose of it. So we'll go through to LiPo balance and we'll hit enter to select. The next thing we need to do is make sure our amperage is correct at 5 amps for our 5 amp hour battery. If you're using a different battery then you will need to adjust that. And that is done by arrowing down or arrowing up. Once you've got the correct amperage we can then hit enter and we'll step across to uh, the voltage. What we are looking for for our Seahorse batteries is the 6S. 22.2 volts 6S. Again, if you're using something different or it's been changed from here, you arrow down, which steps you through your different options, or you arrow up to S6. And again, hit enter. So this is now all set up to charge the battery. We now need to plug the battery in. To plug the battery in, we need to plug the balance lead, which is the seven wire lead here into the correct port which is this big one here because we're using the 6s or 6 cell battery we use the large port if we're using a small smaller 4 cell battery then we'd use this smaller port so you need to choose the correct port for your battery then we need to connect the battery to the lead from the charger again make sure the polarity is the right way around red to red black to black and it should be okay because the connections are unidirectional they can only go in one way so we have now plugged in the battery so we've got our battery lead battery balance lead going in and our battery charging lead or power lead connected up correctly so now we can go through and start charging so to do that from this screen here we hold down the start button until it goes beep, it comes up with a battery check and it is now telling us that it's found a 6 series or 6 cell battery and we hit enter to confirm or stop to cancel. So we hit enter and it will now start charging. So it's saying it's a lithium 6 cell battery, it is charging at 3.5 amps at 22 or almost 23 volts. It's using balance charge it's been charging for 18 seconds and so far we've put in 20 milliamps. This will carry on until the battery is charged which is about 25.2 volts. 
your amperage will slowly drop down to zero and down here it will tell much how much tell you how much energy has gone in, into the battery this is always a good figure to look at as it will tell how hard the drone worked flying your line out and how much of the 5 amps or 5000 milliamps you used of your battery if you're starting to use more than three quarters of your battery then it's probably worthwhile changing your battery if you need to stop the charging then you can hit stop and it will again step back here it is possible to make a mistake and you may get an error on your charger for example here we have set ourselves as a 5 cell battery at 18.5 but we have got a 6 cell battery plugged in so if we press start down it will go through do the check and it comes back with an error it's telling us our cell connection is faulty that means we have plugged in a battery with different cell count to what the charger is looking for you need to go back and correct it so in this case would hit enter then enter again and arrow up to get to six cells hold down the bat button come through it does to check it's all okay we can hit enter to charge if we are planning not using our batteries for a week or more then it is best to store the batteries in storage mode as opposed to fully charged. This means the batteries will last longer and you'll get better performance of them over a longer period of time. So to change from balance mode to storage mode, we again hit our status buttons and we come across to where we got storage. Again, the important thing is to ensure that we got 6S 22.2 volts showing and if that's the case we hit hold down the enter button if it's not the case then we hit enter quickly scroll across and change it to whatever we need hit enter to confirm and then hold down enter to go through to the check it again comes up with the same screen as for charging and if we hit enter to start it will start charging storage will store the batteries at 23 volts so it will either charge up to 23 volts or it will discharge down to 23 volts that is the best voltage to store the batteries for long term well that's all for today and if you've got any questions about charging give us a call we're happy to help see you next time